Good morning, Internet. Welcome back to the Anti-Gravity Crash Pad. I am working on cleaning up the water. So I finally took out all the oil that was here. We turned it all into petroleum. There's gobs and gobs of it. And I've got a pump down here so I can pump all this over. And I was starting to pump it and I'm like, this is all above that. It's all just going to fall over. So there's more than enough petroleum sorted. All of that liquid comes up to here. I've got another pump in here starting to pump up this brine and polluted water. And it all comes up into this nice sorting system. So we've got polluted water, brine, and then this will be water. So all that will get sorted in. We're also grabbing the polluted water from this vent. Once I get caught up on all my water, one pipe should be fine. Right now I'm slowly letting all of this empty out so I don't have any water going into all of that yet. So that's kind of what I've been working on, just pumping a whole lot of water. Uh, berry sludge, we're starting to make it. I've only got two bristle blossoms. I dug up a whole sandstone biome right here and that was all I found. But this, I've been looking for. I found a natural gas vent. So I've got to get up into here, get this all nice and cleaned out and then I can start storing natural gas. Once I have natural gas, then I'll have a really good uh, source of energy, uh, generator type thing, and then we can really get cooking. I don't have to worry about the plug slugs as much. Oh, I wonder if there's... Yeah, none of you are in oil. Let's... Do that so I can uh, pump up oil. And then I can put in a liquid lock and then that will be fine. So many ice biomes, there's another one. And just slowly digging all this down. I can probably do. Come on, where are my dupes? I did accidentally print out a poke shell. This is now the poke shell spawn, but it killed all of my critters up here. <laughs> Bit of a mistake. All right, we're gonna kill you. We don't need poke shells. Okay, now that all this is running, the other thing I haven't built, uh, is that refinement? Yeah, salad spinner. So I can start to get rid of all the polluted mud and polluted dirt and all that. And this seems like a perfectly fine place for it. It produces heat and then this will help keep it cool. Oh, the fleet wheat farm is done. I think that was, I, I've lost track of where I was. I've been dealing with liquid. So we're growing sleep wheat. And now I need to start storing natural gas. I am trying to think ahead. Like I know where I want the generators and I know I want to do a sour gas boiler this time. I think my best bet is just gonna be running a bunch of pipe. Like I know all that is gonna end up somewhere up in this area. Let's think about doing the gas storage down here. Oh, I'm in the middle of a save. I'm like, I can't scroll. Let's think about doing the gas storage down here, but that's not really gonna work. Okay, you. Crude oil. Seven. But for a quick and dirty system to get this pumping, I think I can just put in, did I get gold out of there? Not enough. But that is now a vacuum, so I can get gold right here. Yeah, so do some gold. We'll put in a generator to run this, and we'll store it up locally for a little bit. Oh, we got the analysis going. We've got generator going in. Yeah, in the meantime, I can just put in just a couple of gas tanks to make sure I... I've got plenty of extra. 
store plenty of natural gas while we figure out what to do with the rest of it. So I just scrolled up above it. I think there's another uh, cool steam bin right there. Judging by the thimble reeds, I think that's the slime cool steam vent. In fact, we can just do this. Yeah, there's some of this like there I'm getting through. And we'll see what's up there. Otherwise, I'm waiting for pumping. Oh, the analysis is almost, almost done. Let's see what kind of vent we've got here. Carbon dioxide wise, I'm just gonna dump it. 25, oh, pretty good. Is that four generators when it's running? And there's some polluted oxygen in there. I'm not too worried. I mean, the small amount in there will just suck up and fix our generator with. And to get this whole thing started, short run on the wheel should get it going. Assuming they built the wire. needed them to do. That little bit comes in there, that starts running. And we are done, and we are collecting natural gas. Yep, cool steam bit. I was right. So now that we can pump this out of here, yeah, I gotta seal that in before the water breaks it, but right now that will deal with the heat. Perfect. One more thing done. That's pumping out water. Now it's running all the water out of here for a bit, but I think we'll reconnect that. This one went dormant, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, plug slugs. I did add the second ranch and that's been doing a great job of keeping up with the power. But I think right here, how big do I want to go? I think I'm just going with the two kilo sour gas boiler. So yeah, we'll Put in some generators here and some pumps to deal with the liquid. Right there seems like a good space for it. All right, I've had a bunch of dupes get food poisoning. I thought I got this all cleaned out. Yeah, it's not quite clean. All the tanks are in. Tanks are clean now. But there's, ooh, we got a third plant. But we're still getting food poisoning and we want to deal with radiation at some point. So I will need to hire a doctor. But let's see how much room we've got available. Just realized I went to pause the game and I paused you instead. So. Three, four, five, six. Oh, that's perfect. Because I need room for 14 generators. So we need a place. There. And a place for a pump. We don't care if it's three wide. Yeah, and the pump can look down here and then we'll put generators in up there. And those have just come across. All right, that's a bit of a long-term project. Now that we have plastic, we're gonna sort out power. We've got iron, we've got steel. It's time to start focusing up here. 
We need rockets. We need data banks, we need rockets, so how high? We don't know. We need to know how high this is so I know where to build my rocket platform. That is next. It just now gave me the surface breach. <laughs> or maybe that was calling the achievement. Nope, I made it 365 cycles. Okay. I'm like, I must have gotten surface breach before then. We're still not at the top. There we go. This map is ginormous. That's gotta be close. Nope. Not yet. Okay, we found it. <laughs> that, wow. Okay, well, I was worried about space, but I've got, yeah. Come on, I'm trying to measure here. I've got 54 tiles before I reach background. And then I've got another 10. And that's just that background. Okay, well, let's get rid of this and start our rocket platform. Oh, now you should be pumping out water. You're doing polluted mud. Whatever. I need a... There. Bookmark right there, and... I don't think the background's gonna mess me up too much. That should give me enough room for some rockets and then stuff underneath on both sides if I want it. I think I noticed this in the last playthrough that rocket platforms do not exchange heat. So because of that, I'm going to try to make one out of lead. One, two, three, four. That way I can put some stuff in between them. Let's see what happens. And we're going to need a pipe. We're going to need a great big pipe. Yeah, we definitely don't want decreased science. Dr. Rocket Pot is what I'm looking for next. But we need this pipe of convenient carbon dioxide. Because we're going to start with carbon dioxide rockets because we're not going very far. Rocket platform is finished. I could go straight to small petroleum engine, but I do want to try the carbon dioxide rocket. Oh no, that shouldn't be made out of lead. I don't know if that matters, but whatever. We'll make that out of that. Can I fit a gas tank in there? Small gas cargo container, yes. Oh, and I need power. Battery? I didn't think you could make the carbon dioxide rocket this big, but that might change once I uh, actually build the rocket. So bring that over like that. Up like that. Rocket power. Okay, I keep seeing the oxygen system, but that's just when my pipes are full. In fact, I can probably get rid of a lot of these extra pipes. And look at my nice plug slugs. Not quite full, but pretty close. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I can't build them that tall. Alright, screw the carbon dioxide engine. I still want that pipe, because I want to vent off extra carbon dioxide. Which is easily enough done like that, and then the generators can do it. And I do need a pipe for oxygen. More pipes! Which means I want this pipe to stay. And let's swap this out for... Control him engine, see how much more room that gives me. Engine is done. We've got a gas container. Probably toss on a second solar panel. It's been a while since I've built a small rocket. I don't think I need more than that. I've got battery, some power. Might as well just go for three. That way I'm sure I won't run out of power. Well, I gotta get some fuel up here. Then we need... Oh, water. That's the other thing I need. Get the water pipes run, and then I can start sending my researcher up to make data banks. Yeah, we are just bouncing all over the place, but I always find this just the interesting ways the game deals with the mechanics that the oil is slowly moving across, and it's not that the brine is coming down. But we're almost at the point where this is going to start pumping oil again. And as soon as it does, I'll start only getting every other packet through here. And that'll make the rest of the pumping go quite fast. But it's like the way it's just kind of pouring over the top. And on that side. I, I did this for a reason. Okay. And in here... I don't know if I want a two-dupe setup or not, but I figure I might as well make it a two-dupe setup. And then we'll figure out from there. Ooh, how is that invalid? I don't know. Maybe I'll figure it out. I don't have any buddy buds. Sure. Put in some plants. We'll make... The decor nice in here. Okay, where is that oil going? It's got to be coming back over into here. It's not going over there and falling. It's going over there and then being absorbed back. That's just weird. Usually it pops over and drops down. Very strange behavior. Is the rocket coming? Yeah, we still got a lot of piping. Insides are looking pretty good. I think that is the fuel pipe just about finished. And I made that out of non-insulated so it can help warm stuff up. Not that this is very warm petroleum. But anything's better than what's there. And now that's the water pipe, and I'll do that one in batches. Okay. You don't need any more of that. You do need plastic. Oh, and we got oxygen. Nice. Yeah, so I'm just doing the bypass trick, putting it into storage, and then having it come out as whatever we want. And you only want oxygen. Good work, dupes. Oh, and that's all the petroleum. 
And speaking of petroleum, back here at the bottom, we are making it again. So this finally moved over into that tile. And it's not a perfect counterflow, but more than good enough for this system. And it's not like I'm using that much of it. Oh, and this is full. All right. That'll probably be next time we'll start making the big generator stack. But I want to get my rocket loaded. You edible berry sludge. It says I have 12 of them. Definitely not the sporkid. And we need a little bit more piping. The piping in the rocket is done, so let's send it some water. I just don't want this water sitting in the pipe because it will break. Ooh, we're up to four bristleberries. Probably enough. Yeah. Oh, a whole bunch. Nice. So I doubt that's a full rocket load, but that's definitely enough to keep this going. And station. Bleachstone, now we just need the food. And we got plastic, and we got plastic. Oh, maybe it's too cold in there. Yeah, that's what happened, my seed fell out. Yep, that's gonna be more than enough. Water in the pipes for the toilet to run for many, many cycles. I don't think they've changed the amount that it uses per flush. You. Vacancy only. We have eight kilograms of berry sludge. A little bit cold in there. Who cares? Leave empty. Leave empty. What am I looking for? Consumables. Nails. And Camille. And they are not on the same schedule. Nope. So let's head out. Let's go that way. Oxidizer. Should have oxalite. Yep. Like I know I've been digging it up and it should be enough for what I'm gonna use it for. Okay, and that gives me a range of five. Perfect. How do you already have a worn suit? Ah, ridiculous. They showed up in a perfectly worn suit. So, one, two, three, four, You fly, you work the telescope, you make data banks, they flip back and forth, and we are rocking and rolling. Then we have 32,000 calories of berry sludge, so yeah, they're good on food.
These dudes are cranking through it. I uh, didn't quite fill up the gas tank enough, so they're not going to be up there for a super long time. So as soon as I get to there and research that, and I'm probably just going to turn them around and call it good. And how many data banks do we have? I can't see. There are too many people dancing on top of them. 21. So that is enough to finish you and almost do you. So yeah, if they can get up to like 37, that'd be perfect. So yeah, first rocket launched. Having two dupes up there makes it go much, much better. This is now pumping. Yeah, just about 10 kilos every other. So we're now up to a full pipe again. We got natural gas coming online. And we're making bear sludge. Thank you all very much for watching. I just keep forgetting how big the big asteroid is. I mean, it's going to take a long time to get around. Once I get the natural gas generators online, it will be time for uh, transit tubes. Hello.